right, next day we set off then. Down to the next, next day town. you set off. The, you're given a, a hero's farewell. <laughs> and um, before we leave, I collect 20 twigs and put them in my bag. I see right, I'm doing it's this. It's got to be more than twigs. That You need actual sticks, like snake-sized <laughs> sticks. Okay, I grab 20 snake-sized sticks then. Both okay. lengthy and girthy. <laughs> and put them in my bag. I see him doing that. And I go over and be like, you know, a deal's a deal. Uh, I'm going to have to touch you uh, to have this spell potentially go through. It might not work. Mm, I welcome it. All right. I think he might just be creepy. Maybe he can't do shit. <laughs> All right, Neil. So I touch Bregger and imbue him with spell ability. Okay. Who, what spells do you give him? I give him Cure Light Wounds, one round of it. It says I can do like one level one spell, right? If I'm, or do I just lose that spell? Hold on. I can transfer a limited number of selections, currently number of spells, ability to cast them to another person. It just means I can't memorize that many for that day until it's used. I can receive this episode. I think. I only priest. Uh, only priest spells emit information, da, 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 or cure light wound spell can be transferred. Transferring any spells negates the entire attempt. Including allowable spells that were chosen. Higher level persons can receive more than one spell with the priest option. Uh, level recipient spells imbued one first level spell. Three, two, wait. See, that gets confusing as shit, man. Okay, level of recipient le one, one first level spell. Level of recipient three. Breaker, what level are you? You're six, right? Mm hmm. You're six, so. Um, t -t 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 five plus two first level and one second level spells. So you can give him two first and one second level spells. Okay. So I'll give him two cure light wounds and I'll give him I'll give him a draw upon holy might. Okay. And that means that I can only memorize four level one spells and five level two spells now? Correct. Okay. There you go. So, so do Brigitte, I know what I've, what I've get, gained or whatever? Yes. Yes. You can now cast two Cure Light Wounds and one Draw Upon Holy Might. Mm -hmm. And um, when, do they, when do I lose the ability to cast this? Until you cast them. Oh, okay. Until you cast them or die. Or, yeah, cast them or die. Yeah, you lose the ability to cast spells when you die. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> Usually. So, uh, what is this my holy might thing? Uh, we'll start traveling, and I'll explain the spell to you as we travel. Sure. Yeah. AKA, I'll, we'll I'll message like... you the ability. Yeah. Neil, yeah. just no. Am I not able to learn spells just because I have really low willpower? Yeah. Ah, Jeff, right. Jeff can't either. Only Ryan can. And then okay. once Ryan reaches like level nine, I can't do it anymore. So it's pretty much useless then. <laughs> mm. Did you message the spell to him? I just linked him to all of your spells. That works. Okay. So uh, we're uh, heading to the next town. Yeah. Wigglewood. Yeah. Is, is it really Wigglewood? Well, isn't it that the is direction we're going? Yeah, Wiggle it's actually called Wigglewood. Wood. <laughs> See, this is what happens when... <laughs> is that when a chat you... name? <laughs> yes, that's what happens when you let chat decide. No, actually, that's on... I named that town... How the fuck did I so, name it? Wiggle here, wood. here's my question to you, Neil, real quick. <laughs> Wigglewood. I'm reading a, reading this draw upon holy might, and it says your your body becomes a vessel for the power of his god, but I don't have a god. You yeah, have the vessel. god now. It, it's <laughs> JP's god. JP's god? Okay. Yeah. Yes, your body becomes a vessel for JP's god. Yeah. All right. Little do we know that's true. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. All right. So in Wigglewood, we uh, do the same old normal thing. I'm guessing it's not a big town, so we're just kind of passing through. I ask yeah. if there's any warriors that want to buy a lance. <laughs> Jeff, you're really, or Vincent, you're really, really trying to push this lance on people. <laughs> Way into selling awesome things these days. Oh, God. Yeah, there, there's no one with enough wealth in Wigglewood. Oh, there's the local lord. Um, so far, I've just been, you know, you've been going to the local shops and everything and haven't been actually approaching like the noblemen's houses i take it mm -hmm. uh, i've actually kind of been forgetting about them but in theory the local lord might have enough money but you know that's kind of a whole debacle 
I uh, ask him on the way out of town. Like, I just knock and ask his guard or whatever. I'm a traveling magical lance seller. <laughs> yep. I have magical lance. Would your lord like to buy it? Yep. No. Okay. okay. And I presume we just head on to Rainwood or something. I ask about the green dragon. If we're gonna, Are we staying at night in this town, or do we just travel right through? What time of day do we get there? I guess uh, you can point. travel through Wigglewood on horseback. Okay. And so, Make it to wood by the rest of the day. As we're on horseback, we slow down. I'm like, have you guys seen a dragon? <laughs> a couple of people nod. Which way did it go? They point southwest. Thank you. You guys uh, pull into Rainwood it, pretty late in the evening. I mean, the sun's already down when you guys get in. And... Lisa kind of looks at you guys. Um, she was there for the battle. She was standing like next to the archers waiting. Yeah, for the I, 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 I turned him like, Lisa, where the fuck were you in that fight? <laughs> she was right there, like right next to you. Like, all right, I'm ready for the man scorpions. And they didn't come close. Okay. Um, and she looks at you guys and says, well, this is it. We What's should either it? go see him today, right now, or we can go in the morning. Oh, let's go like now. Let's just done. go now. There's there, we know. I, I would like yeah, to go now. Everyone want to go now? Now is good. I've got it. I've got it penciled in for now. That's good. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Let's do it. We're going now. So she takes you to this house, uh, kind of near the edge of town. Not quite at the edge, but near the edge of town, and walks up to the door and says, "Well, I'm just going to go do and go in and do my thing. If you, you know." You hear me call for help. I'd like some assistance. Well, now, now. Yeah. <coughs> I can walk in with you. Yeah, we, we're gonna look. We're gonna carry this all the way through, and we'd love to be there uh, when you speak to him. So she knocks on the door, and like a, a squat, ugly man who looks like he's you can just ugly is the perfect word to describe his ten. Four out not of ten. Just like, no, I mean we're talking like you know three out of ten, but on top mm -hmm. of that, he's got like a mean-looking personality. You know, he opens the door and he like snarls at you. He's like, "What do you want?" Uh, and she just pulls out a knife and like stabs at him with it right away and hits him. And he stumbles back, grasping his chest, uh, and like falls to the floor. And she kind of walks in, pulls out her sword, points it at his throat, and says, "You killed my father." And he's like, "Uh, no, no, it wasn't me." And she's like, "Uh huh." That's what I, huh? I've heard stories that say otherwise. Where, where are the gems? And he kind of... Do we get any reactions as this is happening? You guys can do whatever you want. Just let me know if you want to do something. I say well, Vincent. Is he, <laughs> is he not attacking right now? Is he like... No, now he's like fallen back on the ground. And she's Please. like, oh, so she's not attacking him, but she's like pointing a sword at him. Right. I pull my sword out, total badass like, but I'm just sitting behind, or standing behind her. I have my bow out as well, but I'm not attacking anything. I, I'm he's, contemplating. He's got a shotgun bow, though. Like it's good for indoors. It's like a mm -hmm. show, show bow. Yeah, <laughs> show bow. I'm like murmuring and to it myself. And it's sawed off a little bit. It's and a I... sawed off shotgun bow. <laughs> <laughs> so as the little person, I'm just like murmuring to myself. I'm like, well, we did just save a town. I guess is all right. Okay. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I'm like, continue, Lisa. Thank you. Now, where are the gems, and where are the letters? And he says, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. And she, like, kicks him roughly in the leg. And he says, okay, they're, they're in the bedroom underneath my bed. And she looks at Abigail and says, Abigail, could you get that for me? Sure, I would love to. And then I, I go. Okay. You find the bedroom pretty quickly. It's a small house. And underneath the bed, there is a box, an unlocked box. <laughs> oh, too bad. Up. <clears throat> yeah. You open it up, and there is a soft felt bag and a smaller uh, box with a very tiny lock on it. Hmm. Um, all right. I'll just grab it all and go downstairs. Okay. Uh, that was still on the first floor, but yeah. Oh. Take it back to them. Uh, <laughs> Abigail goes to the basement. Where'd they go? <laughs> One For some step. reason, I imagined the bedroom to be upstairs. <laughs> so many jokes that could be had right there. Anyways. <laughs> okay, I just need to double check something. Um, so, you, what do you do when you get back into the room? 
Okay, so what do you guys want again? <laughs> Lisa looks at you and says, the stuff from under the bed. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. Can I have it? Sure. I take a good look at everything that's in there first. Like okay. you open the bag and look at it before you hand it to her? Yeah. Uh, it's filled with gems. Can I estimate how much? No, there's probably on the order of 20 gems. They're clear. They could be diamonds, maybe, or something along those lines. And I can't evaluate how much they're worth? I thought I had the appraisal skill. Yeah, but you need some time to actually appraise them, and you need good light and proper equipment. You know, mm. you need, like, a magnifying glass and stuff. All right, but I take good note of, like, I mean, what it's looking like. I glance at them. That's pretty much all you can do. All right. It, it, they're, it's nighttime in a dark, in a poorly lit room, and they're in a bag, a black felt black bag. Like, you yeah. can't get a very good look. All right. Um, so you hand it to the, her, and she puts the bag in a pocket and takes the small box and nods it and looks kind of just nods, and then holds the, the sword at the guy's throat and says, "Where are the others? The other bandits?" Uh, and he, you know, starts sputtering out some words. She kicks him again, and he says, "They've they've gone. They've gone to the forest to the to the south, the southeast, west, east, west, southwest." By Rift Watch. And she nods and kind of looks at uh, the dwarf. Me? Yeah. She just kind of looks at you with like <clears throat> like a questioning look on her your, her face. Well, I, I guess I go over there and, and look. Look where? <laughs> well, just roll back the story, Neil. What is she looking at me for? She's, no, she's like the dwarf says... I'm pulling the, a really bad. The, the, the guy on the ground says... The rest of the bandits are over by Rift Watch in the forest. And then she nods and then kind of looks at you like... Isn't like, that the direction everyone's been saying the dragon went? Yes. But Rift Watch is much further to the southwest. I'm like, do you want us to go to Rift Wrist? Whatever the fuck the town is, <laughs> Lisa. I'm just wondering if you think your god would smile or frown upon me killing this man right now. He killed your father? He's responsible for him. Responsible or killed? Didn't do the deed himself. Take his arm off. We'll go. <laughs> oh, come on! He's a thief! Says, He's a mean guy! And then he slashes out his arm and doesn't cut all the way through it in one blow, but takes a second slash and just hacks it off and the guy's like blood spurting all over the ground and he starts screaming in pain. Isn't that worse than killing him, guys? No, because then he'd be well, dead, well, Abigail. <laughs> he, and he may or may not bleed out from an arm. Oh, I know. I, that's, I walk over to him, and I, if I heal him, Neil, will that stop the wound? Uh, you'd need to cast like a cure serious wounds to stop the bleeding. Would I know, as part of a clergy, would I know how to like stop the bleeding? Uh, yeah, you have a healing proficiency, so you might be able to stop it otherwise. But, you know, it would still then be like a stump that could get infected and diseased. Okay. Your serious wounds would heal it and prevent it from, like, infecting. Okay. Well, then we have to stay here for an extra day. But I go over and try to stop the bleeding and whatnot. And okay. then turn to the party and be like, this man needs to be saved. We're not trying to kill him. Only trying to stop him from stealing or something. Well, this is boring. <laughs> like, would you have rather <laughs> killed this man? Eh. I don't really care. Okay. All right, so we hang out in that town, I guess, as uh, JP, or excuse me, Azriel uh, heals him. Yeah, so the next day, I'm... we just, we, I just have to sleep for the night. Unless you just want to be like, as you were traveling, you learned serious light wounds and you were able to do it right away. Or serious wounds. Well, no, because you wouldn't, yeah. you didn't have that memorized, so. Okay. So, um, so you can stay the night in his house, or what? Oh, we should stay at his house. I stay there to definitely make sure he doesn't die. Well, because he does I'm that, gonna, I guess I, I stay behind the guard. I'm going to look around this house, see mm -hmm. if I can find anything cool. I uh, go with Abby. Okay, Lisa actually asks Vincent to accompany her to the to a different place to stay. I, I go there. Okay. Um, and mm -hmm. Sila stays with Rhaegar. Um, well, group. I guess with everyone else. Yeah. Do we find so, anything? In his house? Yeah, you find a ton of shit. There's, he's got all sorts of, like stuff lying about um, and 
you know, after his arm got hacked off, he's pretty, he readily tells you what everything is. So you find a bunch of poison in the house and you find a bunch of small weapons like daggers, short swords, knives, that sort of thing. Um, and you find a small stash of money. Hmm. I take the money. I take the I, plus I two can, bow. I can There's no plus two bow. How much money is it? I'll, I'll split it with Burger. So it's 50 easier. gold. We'll good effort though, Burger. I gotta and ask, do I see this gonna... happening, Neil? Yes. Oh, oh, you're there? I thought yeah. you went... Oh, you're there. True. Yeah. I'm like, Abigail, I would put that back unless you want to help me keep this guy alive. What? It's not nice to upset the balance. You shouldn't just steal from a random person that you have no need He's to He's a mean from. guy. That doesn't warrant you stealing you from You said him. You should, we should cut off his harm. I say we should steal his money. <laughs> My god does not agree with your statement. You have no god. You're doing it for your own gain. Put the money back. Yes. Hmm, no. <laughs> I'm just like, Brigger? I, I pocket the 25 that she splits <laughs> with me and I say, sometimes this is how we do things. I'm like, fair enough. I take the poison as well. <laughs> fair enough. And I turn to the man and say, how much for all of that? He looks at you and says, what? How much this gold for all the things they just stole? They just stole gold and poison. <laughs> how much is the uh, poison? I don't know. I, I bought it for 300 I can't offer you that. <laughs> but I'll give you what I can. <laughs> okay. We actually never decided how much money you have, did we? No. That's why I said I can't afford that. I say in Elvish to Brigger, we should loot what he just gave him later. <laughs> Steal you, it off of his body. You have 200 GP. Uh, uh, okay. So I will give... I say I'll give you 100 for all the trouble. I shouldn't be stealing from you. It doesn't make up for what they stole, but... He just looks bewildered and confused and like... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so this passes, I guess, go to Vincent. Yeah. Um, so Lisa takes Vincent, or Lisa and Vincent go over to a bar, and she says, I, sorry, I don't know if you want to stay with your friends or not, but I don't actually know if we're entirely still safe in this town, so I'd like one of my bodyguards with me. Understandable. Yeah. Um, and I also am not staying in that man's house, so, you know. Understandable. Okay, good. I didn't want you to think anything was going on. Understandable. Right. <laughs> um, she orders you guys a round of drinks. Um, not knowing you're not too familiar with your distaste for alcohol, she orders you a beer. And I politely drink it, but inform her that I'm an apple juice kind of guy. Okay. She nods um, and just makes small talk with you for the rest of the evening. Okay. All right. Neil, we're going to cut back to us, and we're yeah. going to see how hard one can metagame right here. So, being that Abigail has no idea that I gave Breger those abilities, correct? Uh, you guys did it while you're walking, yeah, so she wouldn't know, I guess. Being that I told Abigail that the spell wouldn't work because my god didn't favor her, right? Right. Abigail has no idea that I don't have other abilities to give my god's favors upon her, right? <laughs> so what I'm getting at is Abigail cannot... She could not metagame this because she doesn't think that I'm going to harm her. Well, metagame what? I want to try to cast Cure you. Blindness on her, but use the reverse so that she's blind. In okay. Induce Blindness, you can do that? Why didn't you just say, Abigail, I want to cast a spell on you? Because I yeah, want to make it apparent. Just, now you just made it fucking metagamey, because now if I say no... Exactly. Yeah, you just created a metagame situation. Yeah, exactly. You just said, I want to cast a spell on you. You're causing yeah. trouble, JP. Exactly. Now you're, like, making me all mindfucked and you shouldn't have. And I don't even know if I would have trusted you after you said that whole thing about the money where you're like, you disturbed the balance. Let me cast a spell on you. Exactly. <laughs> so we've got quite the conundrum here. <laughs> you created the conundrum. Yeah. You yeah. just... It up <laughs> it's, Miguel, not, it's, gonna... it's too late. You, you caused a, a situation for... Where now it's impossible to tell what so would now be it's nullified. I don't know, Abigail. You can make whatever response you want because at this point, I mean, you're already in a situation where you might have not done it anyway because he was just super rude to you. Yeah. So I don't I, know. This is your call. Whatever you I'll say. say, say <laughs> Metagaming. Yeah. Say. 
What the fuck do you want to cast on me? I say... We're not about to fight. I say, look, uh, I have more abilities to grant my god's honor upon, uh, upon the recipients, just like I did with Bregger on the way over here, and I look at Bregger, and I'm like, Bregger, is this not true? He did, indeed. Although I will say, Ezreal, uh, if you keep, keep paying guys off after we steal from them, you're going to go broke very, very quickly. Oh, I know. I'm going to have to do other favors for them. Okay. But <laughs> Look, yes, I already Ab took his arm off. You're the guys <laughs> that are stealing from him. Abigail, it is true. He did, uh, he did give me abilities to both heal and be powerful. Why the fuck did you tell me your god didn't want to be bestow anything upon me? Why would he want to now? That doesn't make any sense. Well, that was one ability. This is the other. You're making me waste my time. <laughs> I'm like, why do you want to? Why, why do you want to keep touching me? This is getting really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like last time it was just about touching me. I feel a little bit violated right now. I. It's nice that you think I'm pretty and everything. I'm just like Abigail. Leave the house. Why? <laughs> like I'm, I've grown tired of you. Here I am trying to give you a gift for my God, and you're just arguing with me. Breger accepted it graciously, and now he's able to do my God's will. You're no longer oh. wanted in this. Oh, oh I got to call you back. Actually, no, just turn just the cams turn, back turn on. Turn the cam on. Well, well, well. Hmm. I say an Elvish to Breger. Don't forget to loot the guy's body before you leave. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to leave? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go to the bar. Okay. Jeff, turn your cam back on. Mine is grayed out. I yeah, I that had means. that problem once upon a time. It left after a moment. Oh. You want me to just For give me you a call back, Jeff? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Well, I don't know if I met a game that. It's hard to say now. I know Abigail doesn't like the guy that much so far. Yeah. Well, whatever. I... Anyways, you left I the house. That... Yeah, you left the house. All right. So I tend to the guy's wounds. Uh, I guess since I need to sleep, I asked Bregger if he could at least... Uh, I know... I, I turned to Bregger and I'm like, Look, Bregger, I know you do not care for this guy whatsoever. In fact, you've already stolen from what is... What could be a lifeless man soon. But could you keep him alive so I can at least heal him tomorrow? I don't mind. And just so you know, the, the stealing has nothing to do really with the man. Just... A I, man's good is not something to do with him? Uh, no, 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 but the, the thing is, is that I usually try to acquire wealth wherever I can, so. Fair enough, as long as you repay it back. Well. <laughs> <laughs> if you just say, I, well, I, I'm just going to like. I am helping keep him alive tonight, I guess you could, if you want to look at it that way. Fair enough, I will honor that. And so, right. will, so will Quantary, so then I go to sleep. So I'm going to go to the bar, do I find Vincent and the girl there, Lisa? Yeah, you find Vincent and Lisa at the bar. Hey, guy. So, Lisa, that was a lot of gold in that, a lot of uh, gems in that bag, huh? Seems like more than 500 gold. Yeah. Hmm. And I thought you were after letters rather than gems. You know that small box you handed me? Yeah. Filled with letters. How did you open it? I have the key. Ah. Uh. Mm, makes sense. And you were after the gems too? You didn't mention gems first. You just said you would I give us I didn't mention gems, you're right. So we should split the loot equally since we're a party. Absolutely not. The gems are mine. I may not have mentioned it to you, but that's because I didn't know if I could trust you guys yet. Well, I could have just taken all the gems, you know, and handed you the letters. Vincent? Do you mind stepping in here? Yeah, she's a thief. Abigail, it's... We agreed to a deal. I understand where you're thinking, but we can't alter the deal we agreed to. You know, I Everyone... could have taken some, and you wouldn't yes. even have known. I don't know yeah. why you would tell that to her, though. That <laughs> she's. I'm just telling her. She's a warrior that's very good with a sword, and you're yeah, telling actually... her that you could have done a really bad thing, but you decided not to, and now you're asking for a reward for that or something? I was about to ask you guys if you would accompany me to go kill the rest of the bandits but I don't know if I actually want to do that anymore um, now, actually that, now that I have some extra money to pay for you guys I was going to do that but uh, maybe not so 
Well, Elise, I can't force you, but um, you would have to then pay us the 500 I suppose. I, I oh, think yeah. we're still down to see this thing out, um, and you'll have to forgive Abigail. She is a thief, and, and she's done well by us, but, uh, you know, she just needs some explaining to how, how deals work, because she doesn't understand deals. She understands stealing, basically. Fair enough, but thieves are the sort of people I'm here to kill, so... Not well, that I'm threatening well, you, hey, Abigail, but just in I'm general. I'm saying I didn't steal it, so... Yeah, because that would be wrong. Abigail, you'll have to trust me on this one, friend. Uh, I understand that you found out she's newly very wealthy, and that makes you very interested in her, but um, we're going to pass on this one. Lisa seems like good people. Thank you, mm -hmm. Vincent. She opens the bag, pulls out a couple gems, uh, a couple of small diamonds, and uh, pushes them across the table towards you, Vincent. Says, this should be sufficient payment. Well, thank you. And this is to complete the mission and uh, kill the other oh. guys? No, no, no. Your, your task here is done. We've recovered the letters. Those are what I really care about. The, I'm headed to the... to... to... Riffwatch to see the rest of these bandits dead. Um, I would appreciate some company, but I don't necessarily... You know, it, this is not... This is not going to be small potatoes. Then again, after the way you guys handle those man scorpions, I, I think you'd be fine. What we shall say? discuss it, but I think we could be very interesting going. All right. And with that, though, we should probably end. We should probably end. Should probably end, yeah. Uh, I really that man scorpion fight was going to be a bit more difficult. <laughs> like, that was know. supposed to be a pretty badass battle, but I guess... I didn't guess know the power I of the They're pretty cool. If three attacks, for Pete's sakes. Three yeah. attacks and some really <laughs> badass poison, and actually have quite a bit of HP. But what does their HP poison actually do? Um, yeah, I'll tell you guys. Uh, hey, by the way, did anybody roll a one on a d20 tonight? Any of us? Yeah, there's some ones. There there's was? The oh, snake. yeah, I rolled a ton of ones. On d20s, uh, yes, but on not the on the snake. Like, yeah, you hit. rolled a shitload of snakes. That's right. We actually have to go to a dinner, though, so if we could do shout outs while he's looking that up right now, that'd be. Yeah, yeah. Sure, Jeff, why don't you start? Uh, just thanks to everyone, as always. It's just it's been awesome, and I get excited about this every week, so I, I do appreciate everyone. Uh, being a part of that and making that something worth being excited about. Um, as always, if you haven't already, just follow me on Twitter, EG in Control. And then we are casting a team league right now, SC2L, um, which can be found on Twitch TV, literally slash SC2L, but really the Twitters and all that stuff will let you know about it. Um, and then, you know, thanks to my team, Evil Geniuses, and our lovely sponsors, and thanks to you guys for making the show awesome. JP, Livin' Pink, Ryan, Neil, everybody. Cool stuff. Ryan wants you to do some shout outs. Shout outs to you guys watching us uh, at home. We really appreciate you guys tuning in every week. Uh, we always have a really, really good time doing this. And um, yeah, you guys kind of help make it worth it some. So really appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, for my stuff, if you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter is at MLG Ryan. You can follow me there. And every Sunday night after this, I stream. So if you want to watch my stream, it's twitch.tv slash Ryuzilla, and I will be streaming there as soon as we go offline here. Uh, Jen, some shout-outs. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks to everyone who does awesome fan art. I found another really cool one on uh, Deviant Art this week. It's really amazing. I'll tweet about it. Uh, make sure to follow me at LivinPinkSC2, twitch.tv slash LivinPink. Facebook and YouTube.com slash live in pink. And uh, do check out Miss Clicks D&D every Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. EDT, where I play D&D with Anna Prosser, Miss RV, and J for Jade and Neil, also known as Pimper Neil. There you go, Pimper Neil. Neil, what does the poison do? And also some shout-outs. The poison, save versus poison or die in 2d4 rounds. First round, you get penalty <laughs> of two to attacks. Second round, you get penalty of three to attacks and your dexterity bonuses to AC. And then until you actually die, you convulse on the ground with no attacks and AC 10. Of course, that does give you a few rounds to have the poison held, slowed, negated, or cured by various means. None and of JP which I actually have. Ha you have a, I gave you a bunch of cure, resist, slow poison spells. I didn't actually take them. You didn't take <laughs> them. <laughs> Small dog fight. Yeah, there's a crazy dog fight going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, so I don't think, I think I maybe have like one poison spell. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. 
But I, there are, it's, it takes a few rounds, so there's time for you guys to get your shit together and heal oh, someone. Oh, okay, I have slow poison. Okay, that's it. So that would yeah. have been bad news if someone got hit by that. <laughs> yeah, well, they're Thankfully. pretty fucking badass. Thankfully no one did. Um, and as for me, shout-outs to everyone who stuck around for as long as you could when I did the 40-hour stream earlier. That was a, a lot of fun. And uh, for those of you guys that stuck around for uh, some of you up to 20 hours of it, good for you. Uh, and other than that, shout-outs to sc2ratings.com, which cool. you guys should all go look at. And check out all of Neil's shows, all of which you can see here on the screen. Um, are we good for next Sunday? Uh, Sunday actually, I'm going to the WCS thing. Yeah, I might be going to WCS too. When do you, do you leave Friday for that? Yeah, it'd be Friday for Sunday. Yeah. Okay, well, Tuesday show, maybe? Tuesday. Can we do Wednesday? Oh no, Wednesday Neil can't crap. Or no, I can have someone else stream off you, it's fine. We'll figure Wednesday? it out off stream. We'll let you know. All right. Because Jeff's got to check with SC2L shit and all that. So a lot of different schedules here that we're all tossing around. So we will see uh, when the next time we play. Um, other than that, you, everyone knows where all my shit is. I don't need to promote any of that. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Uh, role plays out. We'll see right. you next Adios. time. Oh, wait. Q&A, Neil? Guys. Um, I'll throw up a Q&A question thread, but I'm going to actually jump onto my own stream and do my own thing right now, so I might not answer it until later tonight or tomorrow sometime. There you go. <laughs> but the questions will be up. Questions over at r slash, uh, fuck, what, reddit.com slash r slash hitmejp. Um, go check out Ryan's stream, twitch.tv slash ryuzilla. Right, so. Go check out Nil's stream, twitch.tv slash koibu. You can see how to spell it, uh, down below. See you guys later. We're out. Peace. Bye. Peace, guys.